So, Suki, let's begin there. Why did you do it? There was just no other way to tell the truth from inside North Korea. I had covered it for about a decade before finally going in there undercover. And um, this was, you know, so carefully orchestrated theater. And, you know, if I were to jot that down, I felt like I would just be a publicist for the regime. So I looked for another way, and undercover was the only way. And what did you see undercover that you hadn't previously been exposed to? You know, it took a long time, but, um, you know, all the superficial information about North Korea, we do have some knowledge from defectors. What I was after was the psychology, and that is sort of in getting to know people on an individual basis, never from any interview format, but by getting to know them. And through that, little, very, very, very tiny details, when you combine them, you begin to realize what kind of control they live under. And the people I was with were the elite. We never hear that about elite being under absolute control. So give me an example of something that you witnessed or observed that surprised you. That if you were to ask them um, about the internet, these were the university students whose majors were computer, they would all tell you they know everything about it. Everybody's on the internet. It takes a while when you realize from their questions when they ask you things like, oh, what are the numbers of movies are you allowed to watch on the internet? Are you able to, you know, if you don't even know that basic fact, that there's an infinity to the concept of internet. It was very clear um, after a while they didn't know what that was. How did you keep and hide your notes? How did you keep track of what you were observing in order to, to write it later without being found out? I came out of there with about 400 page notes. And because my cover was teacher, I could have a laptop with me, which I carried with me at all times. The final time was my fifth time in North Korea. So I knew what I was in for, meaning they would go through all my things and minders were with me all the time. So I wrote uh, morning and night and kept all the documents on USB sticks and erased everything from computer every single time. I um, kept an SD card where I had a backup copy, which I also hid in the room with the light off. Um, so it took, you know, just endless surveillance that was surrounding me and for me to be careful. And because I knew if there was a royal found, then it would be breaking their national security. And the punishment for that is unfathomable. Well, and let's, you know, get to that. What would have happened to you if they'd realized what you were really doing? Well, you know, reporting inside North Korea, um, to actually write a book in there is has never been done because it's that scary. You know, it's a country where they send people to gulags for, you know, carrying a Bible and passing it out. So I don't think that what I had done would have um, let me live, really. I mean, that's my guess, you know, and that fear was there all the time, every second. Well, it was remarkably brave of you to do it. Thanks for talking about it. Thank you.